I want to know how the hell people in Canada are even living. I generally consider myself a positive person. I'm like resourceful, but some stuff happened around the property and like, well, I know I'll never truly be homeless. Like I, I have family to live with and you know, like I have options. Like I'm luckier than a lot of other people, but how the hell are, is anyone existing in Canada? Like, I just, I feel trapped. And like, like, I just got a good job. I start in September, but even with that job, it pays less than 40 grand a year. And it's a job that requires, a, like, education. And even on that job, like, I still can't do shit. I can't buy anything. I can't afford the rent these days. Like, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm just feeling so much despair and I know I'm normally like really really positive but I'm just like how is everyone else and are you okay because the answer is probably no and I know I'm lucky I don't I don't have kids I have like good family that will support me but I just I feel like I can't stay here but I can't move anywhere else because anywhere else I move to I'm gonna be charging like I'm the landlords are just gonna charge me like $2,500 a month in rent like unless I move into the middle of literally nowhere where there are zero jobs and I'm just I'm just feeling really overwhelmed and like I don't know <laughs> there's a part of me that just wants to say F it and just get a whole bunch of credit cards and just travel and just like get out of Canada because like I, I know it's bad everywhere I, I really do but I don't know I just at 33 years old like I was really hoping that I could at the very least afford you know a small house I don't even want I don't want 3100 square feet bullshit I just want I just want something small, 500 square feet, even less. And yet, it's just, it's just, it's so fucking expensive. Like, I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do. Hey everybody, and oh, welcome back to my channel. It's Walanda. Where, where do I start? How's everyone out there? No, really, how are you guys doing? Because I don't know if it's just the fact that we have social media. Actually, I know it is the fact that we have social media, that we see all of these people pouring their heart out, pouring their tears onto their phones and just crying and just complaining, not complaining in a bad way, but like it's a form of complaint, just, just let's say what it is, about how much they cannot afford to live, how much they cannot afford the basic necessities. And like she said, it's everywhere. We see it time and time. We see it on socials from different cities, from different states, from different countries, from different parts of the hemisphere of the world. We see it everywhere. People are not only, like, they can't afford anything. And we see it time and time again. Like back then we had so many financial crises go on, like the Great Depression and all the wars that we had going on where people were baroque. People were dirt poor. The main difference is the fact that they didn't have social media in order for them to let the world know it's not only y'all, we are in this too. Let their neighbors. A lot of people, I'm pretty sure, they were already living in areas where everybody in that area probably had the same financial literacy, one, and were around the same income. I'm pretty sure the middle class stay with the middle class. The poorer class stay with the poorer class. The richer class stay with the richer class. Nowadays, a lot of it is mixed where 
you may not even have that much money, but yeah, you're afford you're able to get yourself in a more higher class neighborhood. But back then it wasn't the case. You literally stayed where you can afford. A lot of people nowadays they don't stay where they can afford. But that was that was that was just it. There's no difference between now and how people were living years back in the 70s and the 60s and the 50s and the 80s. There's no difference. The main difference is the fact that we have social media. Of course, the other difference is the rate of inflation and also what our dollar, what our money currency is worth now compared to years back. So I'm gonna ask this again, like, how are y'all? Because it seems like everybody is, not everybody, but a lot of people are broke and tired. Tired of waking up, going to work, and getting pennies just to make it by, barely making it by. And she said she has no kids. She is on TikTok crying her eyes out with no kids. I don't know what could be our solution now. I know maybe one of the solutions is probably uh, bringing a lot of the cost down. But then again, when people bring the cost down, people are going to get mad. Corporates are going to get mad. Shareholders are going to get mad. The price is not up for us. The price is up for the shareholders. The price is up for the greedy corporates who just want to milk as much as they can out of each and every one of their customers. That's the unfortunate part. I wish it wasn't like this. I wish everybody who is born onto this earth can have at least the basics for them to live, but that's just not the case. Another thing is she says she is 33 years old and she wish she has a house. Unfortunately, a lot of us will not, a lot of us as in millennials and maybe Gen Z, we don't know how the economy is gonna go going forward. We are not going to be able to have the same basic things that the generation before us had. And I don't see it getting any better, to be honest. I don't see a utopia. I don't see a, uh, a light at the end of the tunnel because people are getting greedier and greedier. Why, why, why is rent so expensive for one bedroom, for two bedrooms? Owning a home is now a luxury because it is so overpriced. The market is super high, even though it quote, quote, went down since the pandemic. It is not down like it was before. And it was already even pricey before. Are we really, what, what is going on here? Now she is currently living in Canada. I don't know how the rates, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm getting a feeling that it's basically the same thing as the U.S. when it comes to living wages and cost of living because I see a lot of people from Canada that are complaining and actually want to jump over to the U.S. And I'm looking like you literally are not doing anything better jumping from one ship to another because they're just about the same thing. There's no difference. Yo, she doesn't have any kids. I remember my mom told me she raised us, me and my three little siblings, off of 12,000 a year. That's crazy. I wouldn't I wouldn't even be able to have an apartment in a good area for $12,000 a year. I don't think there's any apartment I could get that's for 1k a month that is in a safe not a suspicious area, but yet she was raising us off of that. That's crazy. So for those who have kids, I don't see, I don't know. I don't understand. I don't, I don't understand. Like, I don't understand, especially if you have multiple, if you have more than one, I don't understand how y'all do it. Um, because even people out here without kids is struggling, is going through it. So I can only imagine what you guys are going through. I can only imagine. What are we doing? What is the government doing for us? Yeah, we pay taxes on taxes on taxes for better living. 
but it's really not doing anything. What I seen an article that, let me pull this article up because I didn't read it. I didn't go in depth to it because just the, the, the title itself made me mad though. There it go, there it go. This article came out June 20th, 2003. I knew I would seen it somewhere. Okay, so this article is from the responsiblestatecraft.org. And according to this article, leading military contractor jacked up the price of several everyday products after receiving non-competitive contracts, costing taxpayers more than $1.3 million in apparently unnecessary markups. Until 2010, Boeing charged an average of $300 for a trash container used in the E3 century, a surveillance and radar plane based on the 707 civilian airline. When the 707 fell out of use in the United States, the trash can was no longer a commercial item, meaning that Boeing was not obligated to keep its price at previous levels. In 2020, the Pentagon paid Boeing over $200,000 for four of the trash cans, translating to roughly $51,606 per unit. In a 2021 contract, the company charged $36,640 each for 11 trash containers, resulting in a total cost of more than four hundred thousand dollars the apparent overcharge cost taxpayers an extra six hundred thousand between the two contracts wait like what another one jamaica bearings a company that distributes parts manufactured by other firms sold the department of defense 13 radio filters that had once cost 350 dollars each for nearly $49,000 per unit in 2022. That apparent markup costs taxpayers more than 600,000 in extra fees. So you cannot tell me y'all don't have money to be pouring back into the, the people. You can't tell me y'all need more taxpayers money if this is what you guys are doing it's so funny because we sit here and i feel like i just went up a notch because after reading that <laughs> article i'm like it got me even more heated i was calm cool collected up until then but you telling me y'all need more money from the taxpayers we're not paying enough of our portion but yet this is the bs that our money is being spent on make it make sense I understand why rich people don't want to pay their portion because um, they know what the government is being is spending their money on. I'm pretty sure because they're sleeping right next to them in every legislation, in every law. The rich is right there making sure they puppet the government to do what they want to do. But us, we don't know. We just do what we need to do in order for IRS don't come after us. But when articles like this comes out to see you guys are paying $52,000 for one trash can, that is absurd. Y'all tell us when the economy is down or when we are running out of money, oh, penny pinch, oh, save, cut off, cut off costs, cut off excessive, unnecessary, itemized, cut off everything and just stick to the bare minimum. But you guys are over there spending money on trash cans that is a down payment for somebody's house, that can open up a small business, that can keep afloat a small business and help the economy. I'm pretty sure these trash cans are not metal. Pretty sure they're plastic. I'm pretty sure just like they're like the green trash cans people have. And please tell me if this, if it's some special type of carbon fiber some type of steel metal some type of bulletproof type trash can seal never leaking type of trash can that is worth that fifty two thousand. please let me know please let me know if i'm mistaken but i'm pretty sure i'm not because government will definitely misuse mishandle their taxpayers money and have people go on social media 
crying because the companies are not increasing their wages. And even if companies are increasing the wages, cost of living is just keeps on going higher than what the pay rate is. It's increasing as well. So make it make sense. Are we the one who really needs personal finance classes? All of these personal finance people on YouTube, I think y'all need to go in contract with the government so y'all could teach them personal finance or governmental finance or whatever it's called because we do our best to try to make ends meet. We do our best to try to, especially those with kids, make sure the kids have a good fulfilling life what they need at the bare minimum but there are people who cannot even give their kids that the bare minimum of what they need because they have to work two three four jobs or two three jobs and a side hustle and take care of the house make it make sense because it don't y'all that article got me heated got me heated <sighs> there are so many more stories like this on socials and i'm going to be doing a series with bringing you different people's stories and just hearing what they have to say let me know down below what you think about what went on with this lady in this video and this article that i presented to you guys are you guys broke and tired? Let me know down below and I'll see you guys in the next video.